Hey guys, it's your boy D Valo back with some more boxing. Andre Durrell has won um, by default against Jose Hiltaki. This happened. Uh, this fight happened last night, and um, it was a crazy fight because Jose Hiltaki hit him after the bell, and it's not the first time he's done it. It was in the eighth round. He hit him with a left hook after the bell. You heard the bell go ding ding ding, and then you hear him. You heard him and saw him hit him with a hard left hook, which uh, Andre Durrell was obviously it was injured and couldn't continue the fight. The referee called in a doctor um, and uh, called off the fight, disqualified Joseph Hidaki for that f um, for that punch after the bell, and so then Andre Durrell becomes the winner. So firstly, the two things this means, it means now that Andre Durrell has won this, he can possibly, now he can definitely get that chance against James DeGale. And, and a re well, it will be their rematch and it will be his another shot at, a, at the championship IBF belt. That will be a very interesting fight in the future. Well, another thing, interesting thing about this fight was, so now after it's been stopped, after the eighth round, uh, Joseph Hitagi has been disqualified. Andre Durrell is on the floor, but awake, and the doctors are talking to him. He seems okay. He he takes time to recuperate. He gets back up, and uh, Joseph Hitagi he, he actually says to him that I forgive you for this, and then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, <laughs> um, Andre Durrell's uncle just. Something Lawson, I forgot his first name, but he was just out of the blue. He just licked Jose Hitagi with a left hook, just out of nowhere, just banged him straight. And obviously, that's not allowed. And that that's assault. You could hear that that's assault straight up. So my question for you guys is, could what do you think about Andre Durrell's uncle punching? Josie Hitagi, the opponent, the opponent fighter, what do you think of him hitting him? Because obviously everybody's outraged. Uh, you, uh, when I'm thinking of it, I would be outraged if <clears throat> my family member, especially my family member, or my boxer and fighter was knocked out after the bell from an illegal shot. I would, of course, be angry. I don't think I would have knocked out, hit the other guy, though. Of course, I would have been angry with him. I might even have tried to tussle him. I might even have tried to, you know what I mean, like, get in his face and express to him how angry I am. Although, I wouldn't have punched him. I wouldn't have, like, out of the blue. He seemed to have, like, he was just he was just there, and then all of a sudden, there was no argument. He just banged him. And then, now, Andre Durrell's, no, Joseph Hitagi's people have, like, taken this... And obviously, <laughs> they've reported this, and this is an assault. He could be, this guy, Andre de Rose uncle, could be facing 25 years or 10 years with a, a £2,500 fine for first degree and second degree assault. The papers are out there, like, if you go check on social media, you will see what he's actually looking, facing. I think, so what do you think, guys? You think that 25 years in jail for for that sucker punch he did, you think that's a worthy punishment? What, uh, what do you think of his actions there that he did to the opponent? Do you think it's justified? I personally, I don't think it's justified. I can understand his anger, but not, I can't condone his actions. To be, like, if this was completely different, like, it was, if it, this wasn't an actual professional boxing fight, and it was just out on the street, you, and you're with, you're with your family member, and, well, there's no rules in the street fight. I say something, you're jumping in to protect your family member. That's different. You're protecting your family. If your fam if you if you was, if your family member got hurt, but this shot was out of the blue. Joseph Hotaki didn't expect it. Maybe the uncle thought it's paid back. You hit my 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 uh, my nephew with a, a shot, an illegal shot. So I'm gonna hit you with a shot. So. An eye for an eye. In the eyes of the law, though, and in the eyes of a boxing fight, it's, it's not allowed. And obviously now that's why he's getting charged. Leave it and drop it in the comments. What's your opinion on this? 
And uh, so the good news though is that Andre de Rowe is okay. Uh, he he's won that for me just um, because the other guy got disqualified. So now he will be fighting James De Gale in the future. Also, this is not the first time Joseph Utagi has hit somebody after the bell, and I, I think personally that he should be. He's been disqualified from this match, but he should be um, further further um, punished or sanctioned for this because he, he, this was after the bell and it's not the second time he's done it. In terms of the actual fight, I saw a very competitive fight between these two. Andre Durrell was quicker, faster. However, Joseph Tucky was, was, was uh, more powerful, elusive and quite tricky. Yeah, but... Um, he would switch to he would switch to uh, southpaw, and he would hit he was hitting Durrell with some heavy shots, and in the second and third round he was doing well. Even in even up to the eighth round, I could I would say that he had lunt, he was winning the last three, because even though Andre Durrell was hitting him with left hand shots and he was getting more comfortable with the jab, shooting that jab and being more comfortable on the outside and also. Um, stopping Jose from coming in, he was skillful in that aspect. However, when Jose Hotagi did land, it was the cleaner, powerful, sharper shots that were damaging Andre Durrell, and and he had to think on his feet. It was the defense and skills and ref reflexes of Durrell which saved him ultimately in that fight. I could see that fight going to an, a late knockout, to be honest because it was clear that Jose Hotaki had the power and he was doing well. I just don't know why he decided to do that at the end. I personally think that he, he was still very much in that fight. If he didn't do that, he could have put the pressure on to um, Darrell because he was barraging him near the end of the round. He had him in the corner. Andre Darrell has this way of... He's, he seems to be comfortable on his back foot, but I don't really agree with fighting in the corner. If you're going to pressure your opponent, you're not, you're not an inside fighter and you, you're not a very powerful guy. Also, you can say that his, his chin is questionable. So you shouldn't be in the corner against a power puncher who's, who's looking to knock you out. You shouldn't be trying to trade shots with, with someone like that or even though he's putting your jab in, in his face and stopping him from coming. That's stopping him from coming in. But that's a dangerous game to play for 12 rounds. And not everybody can successfully do that. At some point, you're going to get caught. And if you don't have a good chin, which I suspect he doesn't really have a good chin, then um, not based off of that knockout after the bell. Based off, uh, he's, not very, he's not very powerful. And I, I've seen him go down a number of times. He, he, he's, he's skillful on the outside and he has... However, you do need... His, his lack of power comes is apparent. Even when he's flying in with those left hand shots, even when they land, they're scoring, but they're not doing much damage. And in, for the eyes of the judges, the, the judges are looking for forceful shots too. So that's why I think Joseph Hitagi was getting points, even though he wasn't. He was the aggressor, and he was getting points for those hard, hard punches he was landing. So he's very much in the fight before this happened. I don't know why that happened, but anyway. Andre Dorota vs James the girl in the future. Drop in the comments what you think about everything that's happened in this fight. It's your boy T Dialogue and I'm out.